Hey YouTube, I'm going to make a uh, video today on how to fix your Craftsman lawn tractor. It's a uh, 12 horsepower. It's kind of custom made because I'm making a racing lawn more, but I'm still using the same brake that all of you guys use today. Uh, many of you may wonder how to adjust and fix your brakes. This video is going to help you on how to do this because uh, I've spent three months trying to figure out how this thing works. I finally figured it out about last week. I went out to my local hardware store that had all the parts I needed. Alright? Okay, I'm back. I I took apart my brake and uh, I disassembled the whole thing. Here it is. I'm going to show you how to put it back together piece by piece. So, uh, and once I do that, I'll adjust it and you guys will see how you can make your brakes more efficient on your Craftsman mower. Alright, the first piece you need it's up here on the transaxle and uh, this, this bar spins around uh, and it one, one of your brake pieces attaches to it but first off clean out the area you got right here this square because that's where one of your brake pads goes in once you clean that out put the brake pad in you can put it in any way you want uh, for instance, some one side might have a lot of wear on it, so you might want to start put and put it in on a different side, so that side can start to get wear. Next part that goes on is going to be this circular piece, and uh, this piece locks in with a keyway. So let me get my key here. All right, the key's on. Let's see if we can put that other part on. All right, I got this part back on. And uh, next step is you're gonna have to get the whole big assembly of this brake part. And uh, I'm going to take it apart in here. There's this brake pad. There's a little metal piece. And if you look inside there, there's two metal bars that stick out. And those are what uh, engages your brake. So you're going to get this... Uh, this big box part and it's got your brake return spring and the rod goes through this hole and then it also attaches to this bar where the nut keeps it on and then this screw here is going to go into your transaxle but first thing you gotta do is you flip it like this and you put the metal piece inside there Make sure it's all flat. And after that, you put in your brake pad. And you keep it the same way so that uh, any wear and tear can be on a different side of the pad so you can get a longer life out of it. Okay, now that you have your metal piece and your brake pad in, uh, it's time to mount it to the transaxle. Uh, to get a longer life out of your brake pad, I personally like to uh, flip the side so it has uh, less wear and tear, and that way you can get a longer life out of it. Uh, now what you do is you put your washer onto here, and this keeps it tight so it uh, engages when the clutch when the when the clutch uh, pushes it back, and then uh, to stop the braking, this brake return spring pulls it back, and then you're on your way when you drive. Next thing we put on is this bolt. It goes through here and then on to there. And after that, we put on the nut. And when all this is assembled, uh, this piece is going to be tight against uh, the two metal rods that we saw in there. And that is what's going to uh, engage the brakes. 
Okay, now we're ready to uh, mount this onto our transaxle in these two holes. With All right, now we're going to put this on the transaxle. Let's put the rod through. Uh, this is a custom rod that I made because my old, my other rod, it snapped. So I just used used a thread rod and I all the bends that you have to make in it, I used a uh, propane torch. And that all worked properly. Uh, you got to make sure you have uh, your nuts on and your spring. And now we can mount it up on this axle. So you're going to get everything all tight. But you don't want to strip the threads. So just hand tight. Don't go any more than that. This one's going to be a pain to get. There's an inconvenient location. Okay, now we have everything back together, and the brake should work properly, but now you have to uh, adjust it to the right position. I already have mine adjusted, so I'm not going to uh, mess with it, but I'll show you guys what you need. And uh, Okay, when you press on the clutch and engage the parking brake, there should be an inch and a half of tension on that spring, so the gap from here to the your first nut is going to be an inch and a half right now mine's perfect so I'm not going to mess with it but that's how it's going to be and you'll have your brake working perfectly and it pushes this back so that's what engages your uh, your brake and if you're on this back wheel here that I happen to take off because it makes this whole project a lot easier you can't spin it because the brake is working perfectly All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll put a video up on uh, this tractor working. I'm spilling these rats long as you fill them to the day that I drop. You'll never say that I'm not killing them.